Sound the trumpets. It's time to rank Gen 3 shinies, baby. Butterfree, go! Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. I'm pretty awesome brand new video today, and today we're gonna take all Generation 3 shiny Pokemon and rank them in a bunch of different tiers. If you guys haven't seen it, we've been ranking all the generations and their shiny Pokemon, and you can find those videos in the description below. So if you're looking for something to watch today, go check those out. I'll give my honest opinions. We have a lot of fun with it, and I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, hit that like button down below. I appreciate the support, and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you guys are new as I do post Pokemon videos every single day. Gen 3 features some incredible shinies in the Hoenn region. Let's rank them and see where they land. Okay, so here we go. We got some incredible shinies in Gen 3. I mean, you can see them. There's some really good ones here, and there's also some ones that are like, you know, a little questionable. So we'll get it started. We got the God tier, super good, decent, disappointing, and garbage. So let's get it started. Tree Calm, I'm throwing super good. Grovile and Sceptile, I'll put all in super good. They're very similar. I do quite like that green and that uh, kind of rusty brown color. I don't think Sceptile's as good as the other two, but I still think it deserves to be in that super good tier, as does Mega Sceptile. Torchic is pretty disappointing, as is Combusken and Blaziken. Uh, Mega Blaziken actually looks much cooler in this sprite. It's got a different color orange, but I've never, they did change Combusken Shiny, but I've never really been that big of a fan of the Shiny here. I, I don't hate the Pokemon, I just, the Shiny's a little meh. Mudkip I think is decent. I've never really, like, Mudkip Shiny isn't all that crazy to me. I think it looks cool in this context. But a lot of water type shinies go from blue to purple, so it's not anything super original. I don't know where Ludicolo went, but he he got moved. Uh, Poochiana, I think, is actually super good. Muniana, I think, is also super good. I think that these shinies are quite nice, actually. Zigzagoon, I think, is decent. I don't like Line Noon as much, though. I know that might sound weird because they're very similar, but I do I do actually feel like you know I feel like Zigzagoon looks better. Wurmple, I'm gonna put in super good. I do quite like purple Wurmple, of course. And when it comes to Silcoon, Silcoon I think is decent. Beautifly is, I would say either decent or disappointing. I don't really quite like Beautifly Shiny. It's not all that different. I actually think Cascoon is pretty cool. I'll put that in decent as well. But Dustox is going to be our first god tier. And I know you might be like, wait, what? Dustox? Nah, Dustox Shiny is actually incredible, dude. It looks so good. It was actually featured in the anime. Really, really clean shiny. I love just the coloration of it. Just the moth vibes. Loving it, dude. What an incredible shiny. Big fan. Big fan. Low Tad, I'm gonna put in Disappointing. I don't really like it. So, Alombre, I'm gonna put in the same. And then Ludicolo, they're just gonna go in Disappointing for today. I don't think they're bad. I just don't think they're good. I think they could have been much better. C Dot is meh. I quite like Nuzleaf, though. I'm gonna put it in Decent. Shift Tree, I'm gonna put in Disappointing. Because I don't really like Shift Tree shiny at all. I think it's pretty rough, actually. Uh, Talo is decent, as is Swellow. I think those are both pretty solid shinies. They're green. I like the orange on them. They look pretty good. Wingle, listen, it's going to go in disappointing. And Pelipper also going to go in disappointing. I don't want to completely trash in these shinies, because as much as it is the Toilet Bird Pokemon, it's just one of those things where, like, I don't really... I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what else they would have really done with it, so I, I'm a little less, you know, going to go after it. Rolts goes to God tier, baby, as does the entire line of Gallade, Gardevoir, and Curlia. That blue helmet looks phenomenal. The color change difference on a Pokemon that otherwise... I mean, this is a Pokemon that looks incredible as a Shiny and lacks otherwise. Surskit also going to gods here. I love those black Shinies. I love Surskit. It's a great Pokemon. Great Shiny. Masquerade, I think, goes in a decent. I've always said that I wish Masquerade was more like Surskit Shiny because Masquerade is one of my favorite Pokemon. It's not that crazy, but it does fall into that green coloring. Shroomish is pretty solid as well. Breloom as well. Super solid. Super solid shinies. You know, not anything that crazy there. Uh, Slackoth, I'm going to put into Decent as well. Kind of another one of those pink ones. Not too bad. Vigoroth goes into Disappointing. And Slacking goes into our first garbage tier. I really think Slacking Shiny is super lackluster. It does capture some of the elements from Vigoroth, but it doesn't really capture the Slackoth elements. And that's very disappointing. When it comes to Ninkata, I'm going to say Ninkata. Ninjask is disappointing. Ninkata is kind of garbage. Shedinja is very disappointing. This is a shiny that you can't even look. It doesn't even look shiny in the sprite, but it's very, very... So actually, I'm going to put it in garbage because it's so frustrating how good it could have been. And it's simply not. Whisper is disappointing, but I do not like Loudred and Exploud shinies. Those are very, very meh. 
They should have kept the green from the Whismer. I don't really like it, but they should have kept it at the very least. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Makuhita and Hariyama. Not a big fan of these particular Shawnees. Azurail actually goes to super good, though. I love that green on Azurail. I think it looks super clean. Much like Meryl's shiny, I think it looks really good on Azurail. Nose pass, I'm going to put in decent. It's a cool shiny, nice and nice and gold. I think uh, Skitty... Skitty and Delcaddy kind of just go to the garbage section, man. I hate to be like that, but they're just really mad Pokemon. Really bad shinies and just, eh, in general. Sableye, however, gets to go to God tier because that gold looks so good. And the green gem, loving it. Same with Mega Sableye, big fan. Mawile, I think, can go to DC. I'm not a huge fan of Mawile. Mega Agron and Aeron, dude. I'm going to put Aeron in super good. Layron in super good. Agron in super good. And Mega AGG Ron going to God tier. You didn't see it coming. I love me some Mega AGG Ron. I love that shiny. It looks so good. Like that armor plating with the blue. Super duper clean. Uh, Metatite, I think, is solid. Metacham gonna go to super good. Love that coloring. Metacham Mega. I don't like the Pokemon, but I love the shiny. Uh, Electric actually is another one that's just really, really clean. Manetric is disappointing, however. I'm gonna make my face cam a little smaller because I'm kind of just taking up a lot of the screen here. Um, Manetric is is very disappointing. This is a shiny that could have been so much cooler, especially based on what Electric looks like. Mega Manetric is the same. It's just disappointing. I, I love the design. I just think it's very disappointing. Plus old garbage, mining, disappointing. At least it does something. Oh my God, it, uh, Volbeat, baby. What a beautiful shiny. I love the purple and the blue. It looks so good together. Gotta give that one a win. Illumise is gonna go to super good or I'm gonna say decent actually because I think it's an okay shiny It's not bad. Roselia also going to decent. I think it's a, it's a cool shiny. Swalot, dude I love blue shinies, but to me Swalot is just such a weird Pokemon. I don't know. I don't really feel that one Carvana though is Going straight to God tier dude. I've always felt like Carvana just had such a beautiful shiny coloring There's no doubt about it that green and that blue so good Sharpedo, I'm gonna put in decent. Never been the hugest fan. Same with Whalmer. I feel like they kind of just fall into this bucket. Numel's kind of disappointing, but Camerupt, actually, I'm gonna put in super good. You could even argue God tier for Camerupt. Uh, that black just looks so clean on this Pokemon. I love that. Torkoal is decent. I don't think it's that good. Spoink is pretty disappointing, as is Grumpig. I do not like that shiny or that Pokemon. Spinda is just meh. Garbage tier for Spinda. Trap Inch, I think, is decent. Vibrava is gonna go. I'm gonna put Vibrava and Flygon in God tier. Yes, I am. I actually love both of their Shinies. This is how you do a Shiny line right. You know what I'm saying? You get that nice orange vibe on Vibrava. I feel like it looks so good. And then Flygon, one of the best Shinies of all time. That blue, the orange, the green all coming together. Looks so good. I quite like Cacnea as well. Cacnea and Cacturn can go to super good. I feel like those are pretty solid there. Swablu, aka Nimbus, going to the super good tier. Quite like that one. And as does Zangoose. I'm actually going to put Zangoose in super good as well. I love the gold on the Altaria line. And Zangoose, that blue, looks very clean. Uh, so Viper's not bad. I'm going to put it in decent. Lunatone, I think, is okay. Soul Rock is disappointing. I do not like the Whiskash lines, Shiny at all. Corefish is garbage. Crawdont's actually a little bit better. And then when it goes to these guys, I think Baltoy is disappointing. Claydol, also disappointing, but not the worst thing in the world. Lyleep is, is kind of funny. It's I'm going to put it in disappointing with Cradillion decent. I think that those are those are decent. Like, I, I get what they were doing there. And I think Cradillion Shiny is actually okay. Anorith is also decent. I don't think it's bad. Armaldo is same thing. I feel like the kind of the, um, the brownish kind of yellowy color is cool. The red looks good on Armaldo. Solid shinies overall. Feebas, I, I mean, I'll give it decent. And Milotic, I actually think is quite nice. I'm going to put Milotic in super good. I think that's a beautiful shiny. Uh, not a personal favorite of mine, but I think it's a really nice shiny. I love the gold tail. The yellow tail looks really good. Castform, I've always found, was really cool. And they actually, for those of you who do not know, I think we're missing some. No, that's all of them. We're missing some. Castform now has shiny sprites. Previously, it did not. But when Pokemon Home rolled out... They did finally give it shiny sprites. So I quite like them, actually. It's nice that they have shiny sprites. So I'm going to go into decent. Kecleon is very disappointing, in my opinion. 
Shup it! I actually love Shup it, Shiny. I really do. As, uh, Banet is not as good. Mega Banet, I feel like, is better, though. Mega Banet gonna go into the super good tier, because I love Shup it and Banet. Uh, I love this Pokemon, and I love this Shiny. That color looks so good on it. Duskull, actually, guys. It's going straight to God tier. Yes, it is. I love me some Duskull, baby. That red looks so good. And Dusclops as well. Dust Noir, no thank you. But Dusclops and Duskull, very beautiful red shinies. Tropius, I think, is disappointing, unfortunately. Chimeco as well, not a big fan. Absol going into Garb. No, just kidding. Absol straight to God tier. You already knew it. Absol, one of the cleanest shinies of all time. That red and that design just, ugh. Oh. Beautiful stuff, and of course, Mega Absol will follow suit there. Headed right to God tier. We've got uh, Why Not here, which I would put in decent. I mean, it's nothing crazy. I've always liked Shiny Snow Run, if I'm being honest. I'm gonna put that in super good. Always like Shiny Snow Run. Glalie is decent. Mega Glalie also decent. Uh, we've got a slew of purple Shinies here. I mean, these are all just gonna go into decent, to be honest. Because they're not bad. Well, uh, Sfeel, Walrein, not bad. Clampro looks good. I actually quite like Huntail here. I'm gonna put that in super good. I quite like Huntail. Gorbis, I think, is also solid. Relicanth, beautiful shiny in my opinion. Underrated going into the super good tier. We've got Love Disc, which I think just goes to decent. Bagon, I'm gonna actually, I don't really like green shinies, but I'm gonna put him in super good. Shellgon and decent, and Salamence actually climbing up to the super good tier. As much as I do not like green shinies, I do quite like the big online. I think it looks good contrasting to what it normally looks like. And then the whole Beldum line, you already know where that's going. I mean, that's not even, we don't even have to debate that, do we? Like, we, there's no, no one's gonna question that. I don't think so. Matang, Metagross, they're all going to God tier. It doesn't even, we don't even have to talk about it. They're just going all the way up there. There's so many Pokemon in the list now, I should have started with these. They're all going up there. Reggie Ra, I mean, listen, we don't even, dude, this is one of the best shinies ever. Seriously, Metagross, so good. Uh, Reggie Rock, solid, uh, disappointing. Regi, straight garbage, no doubt about it. Registeel, disappointing, I don't think they're that good. Um, and then Latias, I think, is decent. The Mega Laddies are disappointing, and the reason being is because they're the same color, they're the same design, stupid, I hate that. And actually, I don't really like Latios. I like Latias, I don't like Latios as shiny. Kyogre, I'm gonna put in decent, but Primal Kyogre is actually god tier, dude. There's no doubt about it in my mind. That is beautiful, dude, beautiful. Same with Groudon, right? Like, I'll put it in decent, because I'm not a big fan of it, but when it gets that Primal form, oh, baby, give me that god tier. Rayquaza, same deal, man. I mean, this is a Pokemon that just looks so good. Mega Rayquaza, same deal, skis. I mean, this is just going straight to the top for god tier. Um, then we got Jirachi. I think Jirachi just falls in a decent. Don't really feel like that's good. And I'll just rank one of the Deoxys. I'll put that in decent as well. I don't, they're all the same. So that is our tier list, man. Let's take a peek and see where we ended up. I feel really good about this tier list, man. In terms of God tier, a lot hate God tier, but that's because of the evolution lines. You know, you got the whole Ralts line, the whole, the whole, uh, Metagross line that takes up a lot of slots, Primal Kyogres, all that stuff, whatever, right? But some beautiful stuff here, man. I mean, I think a lot of people would probably agree with most of these. <laughs> In terms of super good Shawnees, I feel really good about this list. I think Agron, I mean, I got Mega Agron up there. I think that's a great one. I think Altaria could easily go God tier, to be honest. That looks so beautiful. Camera up, another one. I'm a big Shup and Binette fan. I think Sceptile looks really clean. In terms of decent, I can see someone arguing the, the Marsh Tomp line, the Mudkip line going up a tier. Um, I think that there's some value there. I think, um, otherwise, I feel like this is actually pretty solid. Disappointing. Listen, I know there's a lot of Blaziken fans out there. I don't hate the Pokemon. It's just the shiny is meh. Manetric, I wish was better. Ninjask is, you know, solid. I can see some people about the Laddies. Uh, the garbage tier, though, feel pretty good about that. I feel like Shininja could have been better. Ninkata's meh. And these are all just, they're just, bleh, bleh. That's our tier list, man. You either agree with me or you don't, but you're not allowed to have different opinions on the internet. You have to, you have to conform or something. I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section below. Do you think I'm off? Do you think I'm on? Where, what Pokemon do you think I ranked completely out of the planet? Let me know what your thoughts are. If you guys enjoyed this one, you already know what to do. Make sure you guys hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And let me know which series you want me to rank next. We've done a bunch of them already. We've done eight, one, two, three, a, a gen four. So I think we've got five and six and maybe seven next. I don't know what's next, but you guys can let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this tier list ranking. 
Thanks for listening to me, uh, you know, ramble about some shinies, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. If you guys enjoyed this video, you should definitely check out this one right here. Otherwise, this one's pretty awesome too. Check out one of my videos, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.